Well, hello, beautiful people. It's me, Jazzy Mac. And guess what? We are live. Can you believe it? We talked about having the entry level tech video. And guess what? We are here. So we're not only going to look at opportunities here at Facebook. We're also going to look at opportunities for companies like Amazon. We're going to look at opportunities for companies like TikTok. And we're going to talk about how most of you already have the skill sets to walk into these jobs and literally make $40 per hour or more. And no, this isn't going to require a degree. It's not going to require any certifications. And what's cool is most of these roles are going to be no phones. I know you guys hate the phones. So I always like to make sure that I'm bringing you roles that do not require phones. But because we are live, if this is something that you like seeing, if you want me to do a part two to this like entry level tech stuff, please like this video, hit the thumbs up and go ahead and give me a huge like. So just to refresh your memory, if this is the first time you ever tuned in, we talked about in a couple of videos ago, what types of jobs you ultimately wanted to see. And I had you all voting on what you wanted to see in the comments. So it came out to be the entry level tech was the most popular video or the most popular category that you all wanted to see. So we're going to talk about some opportunities that are in this salary range, but I actually have opportunities that are going to be entry level friendly that actually play that pay more than this amount. Okay. So please, please, please go ahead and hit that like button. If you are excited now, what are we going to talk about Jazzy before we get into these opportunities? Well, we're going to break down the job category and we're going to talk about what that could mean as far as what you currently do, right? And then we're going to talk about how that translate into an actual tech job. Okay. An entry level tech job. And you're going to see that a lot of you already have these skill sets. So let's take a look at the category that we're going to look at first and foremost, which is going to be my service industry workers. Okay. I'm talking cashiers. We're talking about customer service rep and delivery drivers. Well, if that's your current title, or if that's what your background is in, all of these categories are going to translate in the tech world, they're going to translate to something like virtual customer service rep, customer experience specialist, or logistics coordinator. So when you're searching for jobs, these are the types of jobs that you need to be searching for if you're trying to hit that $25 an hour mark. Okay. And then we're also going to look at a couple of fintech roles at places like Amazon, places like Facebook, Comcast. We're going to see how how if you've got a background in billing support, maybe you've worked in claims, maybe you worked in collections, you're going to see how this experience translates in the tech world into roles like an IT support associate or even a business analyst. So we're going to see that. We're going to see how my ed tech people, my people that work in the daycares, if you are a teacher, teacher or a counselor or a tutor, you've been any type of these things at some point in time, you're going to see in the tech world, we call those people learning and development specialists. So give me a like button if you're getting excited because you're seeing where your current experience is already translating into the tech world. Go ahead and hit that like button if you can see where some of those skill sets are actually being used in tech jobs. So you worked as a teacher. It doesn't matter if it was high school, middle school. Maybe you worked as a preschool teacher. Maybe you worked in the daycare. Maybe you worked as a college tutor. All of that is going to transfer to learning and development or it's going to translate to being an onboarding specialist, which is kind of like a new hire trainer or things like a help center content specialist. These are the kind of like the technical writer people that put together these documents so that if I went to TikTok's website and I didn't understand how to reset my account, that person would be the person writing out the instructions on how to reset my account or how to reset my password. So you're going to see that those skills where you're teaching others, you're teaching children, you're teaching adults, whatever, 
it's going to translate to these big tech companies. And they want people with backgrounds like yours, simple people that are not these big fancy people in suits. They want regular people that can put things into layman's terms because that's how most of us learn. That's how I learn. And then we're going to talk about a social media expert. You know, you for all my Facebook stalkers out there, all of my Instagram stalkers out there, you all are going to see where that's going to be a very valuable valuable skill set in the tech world. Okay. If you like doing detective work, if you like posting these subliminal messages, I want to show you how to capitalize on that and how you can make really good money from it. And if you've ever done like live selling on Facebook, you know, you go into those groups and stuff and you sell live to people. I'm going to show you how that translate in the tech world under the social media marketing sort of umbrella. Um, and also under like a help center content specialist. So we're going to look at these roles. Now, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and take a big fat screenshot of this because this is going to help you as you start looking for jobs, even beyond what we talk about in this video. So let's go ahead and hop in. So we've got Facebook. You know what? I'm going to say Facebook because I actually have multiple roles for Facebook. And just so you know, all of the resumes are already done for every role that we're going to talk about today. I've gone ahead and done the resumes and those are going to be down below in the description box, right? So let's talk about working for Amazon, specifically working for Amazon corporate, because a lot of people think Amazon is just all about working like physically in some sort of warehouse. Um, but Amazon has a completely virtual global operation. So a lot of people say, Jazzy, what kind of jobs can I do if I'm going to move out of the U.S.? Well, I'm going to show you some of these jobs. And remember, Amazon is global. So if you're planning to leave the U.S. or live in, you know, states like New York or California, understand that these are still going to be a perfect fit for you. Amazon has corporate offices, but they also have where you can completely work from home. So let's look at that first opportunity. So remember in our chart down here, we talked about if you were someone that worked in any type of billing support, um, let's also say if you've ever done any help desk work as well, maybe you worked in insurance claims, maybe you dealt with collections, you know, trying to get money uh, from companies or from people, or maybe you just work as a customer service rep, all of these things, they can kind of overlap sometimes. All of these things are going to go under this umbrella of tech as being a IT support associate, um, being a tier, tier one advisor, um, you know, operations advisor. Those things kind of all mean they're like interchangeable uh, definitions of tech roles. So again, you've got this experience. This is going to translate well into the role that we're about to talk about. So it says, this person is going to be motivated by team success, blah, 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 blah. If you have basic technical support experience, that's going to be what you are providing to Amazon corporate employees. So what's cool about this particular role, it's an IT support associate role, is you're not talking to like people shopping on Amazon. You are actually talking to the people that work for Amazon corporate right? So you are essentially going to research, resolve, and respond to inquiries received uh, via chat. It could be emails, it could be ticketing, whatever. You're going to handle those sorts of cases and assist those internal employees. And the basic qualifications are literally, they are basic, like one year of working either with a Windows computer, a Mac computer, or Linux it doesn't matter because Amazon trains you. They're not going to allow you to just come in and do it your way. They literally are going to send you like through a 10 or 12 week training so that you can do it their way. So most of you use a Mac or a Windows computer. You should be very comfortable using it, especially if you've had any type of customer support job or virtual chat support, 
any types of jobs related to that. And then they say have a high school diploma. I don't see anywhere on here where it says you need to have any type of college degree. Now their prefer preferred qualifications are going to be certain CompTIA or CompTIA uh, certifications, A plus, Network Plus. But understand this, if you don't have those certifications, Amazon will pay for you to get those certifications if you want them. They are not a requirement. It is just a nice to have. Again, the only basic qualifications you need to have is knowing how to operate a Windows or Mac in a customer service environment. Now, what's that pay looking like? Well, it's going to go up to $91,000 per year. Now, I don't know why they have $36,000 down here because when a close associate of mine got this role, they were living in Georgia and that I think the pay that they got started out with was like 80,000 per year plus a sign on bonus plus stock. So this would obviously be like the lowest, like they're saying their lowest geographic market that they could pay you. But obviously if you've got any type of experience, you're going to get closer to the $91,000 range. Now give me a like, or you can comment below. If you didn't realize that having skill sets in a Windows computer environment and a, a customer service experience could eventually lead you into a $91,000 a year role plus the sign on bonus in stock. That is amazing. So yes, I have the resumes available for this. Make sure you apply because I don't know how long this is gonna be out here. Now, th this was our very first entry level role, but I understand people may not want to hop right into Amazon which is totally fine. So an alternate role that I want to show you for those of you that say, Jazzy, I haven't worked in years. I'm a stay at home mom. It's been 10 years since I've worked. Or if you say, hey, I've only done, you know, work in the music industry or something. And I just, I need to have something to kind of start over, something that is going to train me, something that provides equipment, something that just is easy for me to get my foot in the door. Well, that's going to be this Fiserv opportunity. And Fiserv is a global company um, where they help merchants as well as like other uh, retail um, businesses, small business owners um, with payment processing. Um, they do a lot more than payment processing, but that is kind of like what they're mostly known for in payment support. So here it says, we are Fiserv, a global, global leader in fintech and payments, and we move money and information in a way that moves the world. We connect financial institutions, merchants, and consumers to each other. Anytime you swipe your credit card or pay through a mobile app or withdraw money from the bank, we are involved, okay? So that gives you a little bit of information about what Fiserv is. So what you're going to do in this role is assist uh, clients with their account details. This could be changes to the account. This could be reviewing and processing fees or billing. You could be validating credit card numbers if people want to update their credit card payments. Um, or you could be verifying deposit information. It's going to be a lot of the stuff that many of you have done currently. Like if you work in a Walmart money center or if you work at you know, your local Publix as a cashier, um, you're going to be dealing with a lot of this, these same similar things as far as processing fees or helping with billing questions. Anything related to money that you've done in your experience is obviously going to translate into this. So they're saying it's great if you've got one year of experience in a customer facing role, whether that be working in a retail where that, you know, that's a clothing store or a restaurant or a hospitality all of it matters. So this is a great entry level tech role because one, you're learning about all of these different payment technology systems. That's what makes up IT, the systems that you use. And especially when you work in a virtual environment or a remote environment, that is another layer of IT because nobody does anything physically anymore. Most of our transactions are handled electronically. So we've got all of these digital payment networks. We've got all of these uh, virtual terminals that we use to help process payments, to help push um, different approvals through. And we're doing that in a remote environment. So this is entry level tech for all of you that literally have never worked a job before. 
So the pay for this is $16.50 plus a shift differential. I think it's an extra two or three bucks an hour. So it's like 18 or 19 bucks per hour. Again, if you have just never, ever worked in any type of job ever, this is perfect for you. Now, let me emphasize your training starts August 8th, which means you would want to apply for that job like ASAP. The training is going to be for nine weeks long. So again, if you don't have experience, it's okay because they're paying you to train and providing your equipment for nine weeks, you're going to go through this training and then you'll go into your job role. So this is for those of you that say, Jazzy, I got to get my feet wet first before I go and apply at Amazon. I like to have a little bit more, you know, um, kind of entry level experience uh, for someone that has never, ever worked a job. So this is college students. This is, you know, if even if you didn't go to college and you just turned, you know, 18, 19, you're looking for your very first job. This is what you want to look for. Okay. So it's remote in most states. All right. So moving on now, here's the Facebook opportunity. I wanted to mention to you all, because remember we talked about those of you in our little sheet here that have worked in any type of help desk role. We see help desk translates into IT support, or you can go into online operations. So we're going to go into the online operations because that is what we have for Facebook. So I want to point out that this particular role is not on Facebook's career website because this is a contract role. So it's not going to be on the same website. But if you have a LinkedIn, you would just hit the easy apply button right here. And then it shows you where you just simply upload your resume and that's it. It's like literally like a 30 second process. It's a lot easier. So again, this is going to be a contract role as they list here. But look how much they're paying. $25 to $30 an hour for this entry level role. And you're like, well, Jazzy, what are we going to be doing? Well, it says you're going to communicate with customers via email to resolve issues. You're going to escalate different issues and you're going to manage the end to end cases. Cases are basically just tickets. Okay. And you're going to document the customer interaction and the resolution path. Hello, does that not already sound like what you do in a call center? Except you're doing it via email. Does that not already sound like your last chat support job that you had, right? So the only experience they want you to have is a high school diploma or a GED and a little bit of customer service or call center experience. You all already have this experience, but yet you didn't even know that this opportunity existed. And yes, I've created the resume for this as well so that when you upload it, you can have some of these, you know, hot words that really, really make you stand out among other candidates, right? So the online operations agent, they just started hiring three days ago. And trust me, most of these applicants are not going to have the right hot words. And Facebook is hiring. It's a global company. So there's, it's not like it's just going to be two or three roles available. They probably got hundreds of roles available since this is going to be like an email support sort of thing. One person cannot support 1 million people in the US. So they probably need hundreds of people. So I want you to just, just think about this. Now hit like, hit the like button. If you are currently in a role similar to this, or if you have done email support roles or technical support roles, and you were not making 25 an hour, you were probably making closer to 15 an hour. And again, this is 25 to $30 per hour. This, who does not want Facebook on their resume? Once you get into the company, and you've actually started meeting some people and like networking with people. Now you move to being a permanent employee. Do you understand that you're literally going to go from making $30 an hour to six figures, which is over $50 an hour? Do you, do you, are, are you guys understanding what I'm saying? Who's excited about that? Because I am freaking stoked. When I saw this roll, I was like, Ooh, 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 I got to show it to my community. I got to show it. So this is an opportunity that I would hop on and the direct links to this, um, are listed in the resume kit. 
Um, again, this will not be on Facebook's actual website because it is a contract opportunity for Facebook, which is different from their permanent opportunities. But this is a 12 month contract. OK, a lot can happen in 12 months because I would be networking my butt off for those 12 months and I'd be walking into a permanent role at Facebook. I'm just saying this is entry level. This is how you get into a big tech company. Did y'all know it was that easy? Like, talk to me. Did y'all really like realize that it is that easy to like go into a big tech company with just with just a high school diploma or GED, how many of you thought that you had to have college experience in order to work for Facebook? Because that's a common misconception. And please understand this role is fully remote. You don't have to live in New York. It is remote. OK, if you want to work in an office, then go move to New York. But if you're happy working remotely, then you're fine to work from other areas. So this is the Facebook online operations agent. OK. We've got several more opportunities, several more roles. So you don't want to just click away just yet. Stay here for just a second. I got a couple of more for you. OK, so now when it comes to TikTok, we talked about you people that are good at uh, writing out documents that are good at editing documents. You're good at explaining things. You're good at providing people instructions. You're good at talking through how something works or what someone needs to do to reset a password or to reboot their system. A lot of you do this in your customer service roles, whether it's William Sonoma, Concentrix, uh, Walmart, what is it called? The resolutions coordinator. You do this stuff already. But they're not paying you as much as you would make at TikTok. So it says the help center content specialist is going to work with our content strategist and user comms manager to ensure that our users receive timely, valuable communication. So in this role, you will write and update help center content based on new feature releases and ongoing audit. So every time TikTok has like an app update or there's a new feature that's been added to TikTok, you're going to write the little short paragraph that says, this is how you use the new profile button. Like literally we were talking about a couple of sentences and they want people that can put things into layman's terms, right? So have any type of experience working in help desk in a support role of any kind. And that's pretty much going to be it. Obviously you want to have some experience working in a TikTok app. Okay. Most of you have that. Now it's great if you have HTML or SEO experience that is preferred, but it's not a like make or break thing. It's, you know, if you don't have that experience, I personally would just watch a Udemy course on HTML and SEO to understand what it is. Most of you understand what it is already, but if you haven't specifically worked with it, go to YouTube Academy, right? Familiarize yourself with it. But again, the resume templates have already been done with this, but can you imagine making sixty-five to $96,000 as your base salary? This doesn't even include your sign-on bonus. It doesn't include your yearly bonus that you get for performance. $65 an hour, 65,000 breaks down to about $33 per hour. And then 96,000 is over $47 per hour. Now, how many of you get paid that much money to just write out instructions? You probably write out instructions in your training manuals all day long when you're training new employees or when you're providing a report for what happened for an incident where you had to type up a report. Like you're probably already doing that, but I'm pretty sure you're not making $96,000 per hour per year doing it. So this is again, another hidden entry level tech job that a lot of people didn't realize was out there that if you get this job, you've literally got one of the biggest tech companies in the world on your resume. I'm just saying, I'm just saying like, this is a big deal. Okay. Resume is already done for that one. Now you may say, well, Jazzy, I don't really want to go like the technical writer route, or maybe you don't want to do the FinTech stuff that we just looked at. So what if I wanted to do something that helps, you know, helps customers or helps other businesses decide on what products to buy? What if, you know, I got the gift of gab, Jazzy, show me something related to sales because I can sell salt to a slug, right? So what does that look like? A lot of you already work 
in some sort of sales role. You might work at the AT&T store selling, you know, mobile devices, or perhaps you work at Walmart in the electronics department. Well, Jazzy, how do we get to a six figure role and how do we get that entry level role? Well, here's a Comcast role working as a customer account manager. Account managers are generally going to be how you get into a technical sales role, okay? So again, if you've got that billing support experience, you've got any type of retail or, you know, restaurant experience, selling food, selling products, it doesn't matter, even in your own business, this is gonna be entry level. So you are essentially going to reach out to customers um, and talk through like solutions that they might need for their business in order to, you know, scale their business or something. Again, you're going to be trained. You don't need to be an expert on any of this. You will be trained. I think their training is like 10 or 12 weeks, something like that. Now with this one, you will be making calls. You will be on the phone, but let me show you how sales can literally change your life because the target compensation for this is going to be $27 per hour. But let me just show you what can happen once you've done this job for, let's just say six months or so. This is what you're going to hop into. You're going to then go into an account executive role once you've mastered the account manager role. And then what your salary is going to look like for that is $71 to $143,000 with your commission being separate. Remember, when you work in a sales role, you get paid a base pay and then you also get paid commission. And many times your commission is going to be double what you make in your base pay. So imagine getting $105,000 just from commission. You're also getting this base pay too. But imagine that your commission alone is $105,000. I just want to, can can y'all hit the like button if this is something that now yet the light bulb is turning on, like now you're like, oh my goodness, Jazzy. Like, I didn't know they made that much in sales. Like I keep saying to you all, technical sales is where it's at. And like I said, you literally could start out, start out at this more beginner friendly entry level role in customer account manager, work it for six months, and then you go and apply for a role as an account as executive. You've already got a big name on your resume. It's Comcast, it's Xfinity. Everybody knows it. That's a big name in the tech world. It is a huge name. And now you are like six months from now, you're now making $100,000 in just commission plus the $70,000 base salary. Are you serious? Talk about a life upgrade. I'm giving you guys so much good information. I hope you're taking notes. I just like, seriously, you need to save this video and probably go back and rewatch it so you can really, really think about what job you want to apply for. Because I'm excited for you. I'm just super duper excited, right? So we've got one more role that I want to show you. And remember, we talked about the people that work at daycares, the people that work as a tutor, the people that work as a college administrator or um, an entrance, um, what is it? The Like the people that uh, work in the admissions office. Let's say you work in ed tech, educational technology. Well, Jazzy, how do I get into the tech world from that? Well, let's say you've got that tech experience, you've got that teacher experience, or you've got that daycare experience where you are coordinating the curriculum for the kids, or you are developing the milestones that children should be reaching by the age of three, or you are taking notes on their cognitive development and reporting that back to either the school system or reporting it back to the parents. Well, that translates into an awesome learning and development role. So let's say you work for a big company like Deloitte. You're going to make $80,000 to $165,000. And this is way over what I said you could make initially when I first did the survey and told you all how much you can make. (laughs) I always like underestimate, I rather underestimate things and like overestimate because I don't want you to be mad at me. But remember back when you first voted, we said we were looking at jobs that were 25 to $40 an hour, like, you know, the 50000 to $80,000 range. Well, look how much we're making just with learning and development. 
Just look, 80,000 to 165,000. Is that not absolutely bananas, okay? So that's just one role in learning and development. I saw another one for Facebook um, that was also a learning and development role. And again, ignore the location because the salary is gonna be 48 to $63 an hour. And yes, that is a six figure role. All for stuff that you literally are already doing. You're, you're creating these content models. You're creating, you're providing instructional design to people about what the curriculum should look like, what the training should look like, what does onboarding look like? What do you do if somebody is not catching on as quickly as possible? How do we, what methodologies are we applying to someone that needs a little bit more assistance? You're already doing this stuff, right? literally are already doing this, but I guarantee you, you're not making $63 an hour. You're not even making the $48 an hour because somebody told you that you needed to go back to school first. Someone told you you needed a certification. Someone told you that you needed 10 years of experience before you could make that six figures. And they lied to you. They lied to you because they wanted to waste your time. Jazzy is here to show you how you can literally step into these roles, these six figure roles tomorrow with your experience tomorrow, you can step into it, okay? So understand that most of these roles that we've talked about, you've got the skill sets for these already because you already work in a teacher role or you already work in billing support, you already work in customer service. So now you can go and search for jobs like what we just looked at in addition to these titles that we've listed out, right? So if we get to, you know what, what I'm going to do, if we get to like a thousand likes on this video, I am actually going to do a part two to these videos and I will show you additional opportunities that are six figure entry level tech roles. Like literally I'm, I'm a little bit cocky because I'm like, there's literally nobody in the world of YouTube that is bringing you six figure entry level tech roles and showing you how to get these roles based on the experience that you have today. Like literally there's nobody else creating this stuff. I'm just saying. So not tooting my own horn, but I'm saying if you want to thank me, thank me by liking the video, okay? It, it just helps the channel. It helps me. I appreciate it. That's the only like love you have to show me, okay? So please make sure you like, and if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. But if you're excited about this, like I, I, I need to know in the comments, tell me you're excited. Let's put it out into the universe. Let's start claiming these jobs. Let's start declaring what is ours, what we want, what we desire. Let's make it plain and clear to the universe so that we can put those things out there and watch them come to us. Okay. So again, the resumes are already done for you. Everything is already down in the description box. If you are interested in this, because I'm freaking excited about these, like these are a big deal. So let me know if you've got any any questions because I'm excited. Congratulations to all of you that have already gotten jobs. Like we've got people that are landing multiple positions. Like seriously, they're getting multiple positions. They're landing jobs at Delta. They're landing jobs at American Express. People are landing jobs at eBay. People are landing jobs at United Health Group. We've got people getting interviewed at Google to be on their YouTube team. Like y'all are just out here crushing it. Like I can go on and on and on and on and on and on about all of these opportunities because like People get jobs that mess with me, okay? I'm just saying, okay? So I'm proud of you all. I'm excited for what's to come. Hit the like button and the subscribe button if you want to see a part two, okay? Until the next time, I will see you beautiful people in the next video. Bye!